You see, hear me, church. I want us to gain something here as born again believers here. You see, Satan would like to throw things at us. Throw things at us. But we must have a resilient and tenacious spirit. You see, now, right now, our weapons are not kind They are mighty in God. Look at that. They are mighty in God. They are not kind of weapons now. We are in a war. But we are, you see, the end is defined because you are already warning for us. But we have to stand your ground against the enemy. Against symptoms. Against lack. Against, against th things you have lost. Or people you have lost. Against pressure. Your pressure on your mind. You stand your ground. Tonight we sh share this, the word of God. Read the word of God. And I believe that if you came here with any heaviness, you are not going to go back with heaviness in Jesus' name. There's any area of your life where the enemy has been putting pressure on you, and you are you hear this tonight with your heaviness, you are going to drop the heaviness here. The comforter is here, the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We'll read this by these scriptures. And look at the example here. If you ever lost anything, if you lost money, you lost people, you lost human beings, you lost you have lost relationships. Whatever has seemed to be like any loss in your life. As you look at this scripture today, be encouraged. And believe that God will make it all for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is lost, God will, God, will, God will return to you in Jesus' name. Now he has many ways to do it. He can do it on 7 or 30 fold, can do it 100 fold, can do it 60 fold. But he expects a return or whatever you have lost in the name of Jesus. Praise God. First Samuel chapter 30, verse 1, verse 1. Read it. Now it happened when David and his men came to Ziklag. On the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag. Amalekites like devil. He's a thief. So that is a thief. He steals money. He steals children. He steals human beings. He steals, he steals things, relationships. He steals. He's a thief. Amalekites. And invaded the south and, and Ziklag and attacked Ziklag and burned it with fire. And are taking captive the you see they didn't just steal and went and left they burnt it that is the nature of the devil it's a destroyer it's, it's a thief and a destroyer he steals kills and destroys steals kills and destroys they, they, they put fire on it and, and <clears throat> money with fire and are taking captive the women and those who were there from small to great they did not kill anyone but carried them away and went their way they, were going to, they, they took them they stole them away now, so David and his men came to the city, and there it was born with fire, and their wives, their sons, and their daughters had been taken captive. Now, you see, when, when you lose something, there's a sense of loss. That's why my mother cried all throughout the whole throughout the day when they stole a, a Bluetooth, because she, she, she brought visitors that didn't know the house, they, because the neighbor begged her, the neighbor begged her, and then she carried people who came for wedding and put them in a, in a city with women. The women were plenty. And they arranged and stole her Bluetooth. And she cried all day. See, there's a sense of loss when you lose something. It's a sense of loss. It's painful. As I said, who some people, maybe their, their loved one died, or somebody close to them dies. Some of them don't overcome. They can't overcome the grief. There's a demonic spirit of grief that takes people over. Some of them don't kill them. It's a sense of loss. Then David and, and the people who were with them lifted up, lifted up their voices and wept. Are you familiar with that? Until they had no more strength to weep. Yeah, look, my, 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 my mother was doing that the, 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 a few days ago. She was crying and they were begging her. She refused to be as console, consoled. He said, see, when you lose something or somebody, the cry is deep cry. It's a deep sense of loss. Hmm? They wept. They had no more strength. They were weak. And David and David's two wives, Ahinoam, the Jesuitess, and Abigail, the widow of Naba, the Camelite, had been taken captive. They didn't even leave one wife to win him. They took everything to them. Now David was greatly distressed. For the people spoke of stoning him because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man of, for his sons and his daughters. But David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. Now this is another dimension. Now after all these losses, they were thinking of killing him. They were blaming him for the, the losses. Human beings like to blame. She blame. It's because of you. God, this thing, even of course, I, 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 I brought something for you. You want to sit down now? I want to be attacked. It's because of so, 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 so. There are people are pushing blames. And blaming, blame shifting can never take you anywhere. So look at it. Look at it. See, David wasn't looking for to blame here. But look at this. Look at the response. I want us to copy David's response here in every situation where, where we find ourselves. 
No, no matter what, what you have lost, God can make it up for you. Praise God. Now look at it. But David is chanting himself in the Lord is God. He strength. See, you know, if you have time, you look, 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 look at Psalm and see, he say, he say, "Why are you downcast, O oh my soul? Why are you downcast, O oh my soul? Put up trust in God. Put up in God. You talk to yourself. Look at in the mirror. Why are you downcast, O oh my soul? Put up trust in God. Satan wants to use depression and oppression to destroy. He can't succeed in your life. Then David said to Abiathar the priest, Ahimelech's son, please bring the effort here to me. And Abiathar brought the effort to David. Okay? The effort is what we used to when you want to seek God. The priest normally wear it, you know, this effort. You come to concern and hear what God has to say. So David inquired of the Lord. Say so David, David inquired. Saying, Shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? That would have been the first thing. Instead of, you know, the cry was the first action. The cry was the first thing. But now they, they came to the came to the same senses. You want to go. And he answered him, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them, and without fear recover all. I want us to do lead this together. See, and see, and see, 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 and God answered and said, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them. And without fail, they cover all. Say, God says, as you pursue, that I will surely overtake all that I have lost. And without fail, recover all. This is the word of the Lord. This is God speaking now. It's not somebody here, maybe, maybe I don't want to give you advice. Your neighbor, give me advice. This is the almighty God speaking. And this word of God is not just ordinary letters. And in, 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 the word of God is spirit and life. The, God has spoken. You will overtake and recover everything. We have seen this word work in our lives. Me and, my, me and this woman. When we lost several million out of, out of, out of things. We have seen it. God has worked it out in our own lives. And I don't care what we have lost. Even if it's a human being. Hear me now. God's wisdom is more than that of wisdom. There is, see, there's nothing you have lost that God cannot replace hundred fold. Look at it now. Look at it. So if he went, he and the six, and the six, he has heard God now. God has spoken. What you are looking for is what is God saying? What is God saying? Some people want to promise to marry you. And they promise to marry you. They mess you, mess you, mess you, mess you, and use you, and use you, and dump you, and abandon you. Hear me now. What is God saying? God can give you a Better, a better partner, a much better partner who will love you more than 10, 10, 10 husbands or 10 or 10 wives. Praise God. Look at it. Or 10 sons or 10 daughters. So David went in. Look at it. So David went, went he and the 600 men who were with him and came to the brook Bissau, where those stayed who were left behind. But David pursued he and 400 men for, two, for 200 stayed behind who were so weary that they could not cross the brook Bissau. They were tired. They couldn't cross. They were tired. But I want us to look at David here. I want to see the toughness, the tenacity, the tenacity of David as a born again believer. Because many people, many people say, "Is this Christian work? It's not. It's not an easy race. Ooh. It's not an easy race." You, but, uh, James Avery was saying that many people that he used to go to churches in America, many churches in America. He said, he said, yeah, he goes around many churches. Most of the people that he saw, they are no longer there. They have dropped by the wayside. See, some people are so zilly. They're jumping up and down the church. They jump up. He said, Where are these people? Ah, I don't go see. This is what I want. This is what I want. People are dropping by because of pressure from Satan. Look at David here. Then they found an Egyptian in the, in the, in the, in the field. Because, because, of, because God has spoken, God is rearranging things on your behalf. He's rearranging money, he's rearranging persons, he's rearranging things. Life is he's rearranging your life. Is is the your life again? So when, when you are when you in, 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 if you if you live in America, I don't know how they do in Nigeria. They are, uh, the GPS, you put GPS, you miss your way. It will recalculate, recalculate where you are going, recalculate where you are going there. Here, God, because of the word has been spoken, is rearranging your life. He said, then they found an Egyptian in the field and brought him to David. God knew that that that, they, that, that, that man would not die. It was three days. Look at it. They, 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 then they found an Egyptian in the field and brought him to David. And they gave him bread and he ate. And they let him drink water. And they gave him a piece of, of a cake of figs and two clusters of reason. So when, look at it now. See, this is very, this is very So when he had eaten his, eaten, his strength came back to him. 
For he had eaten no bread nor drunk water for three days and three nights. This somebody that was sick, and yet no drinking water, no drinking, no, no, no eating food and drinking water for three days, and yet go there and to die. Why didn't he die? Go to an assignment, we're going to use him to do an assignment. Look at it. And David said to him, To whom do you belong? And where, see, that's why he's going to show kindness. See, David show kindness to that man. Eh? To, to, so, and where, where are you from? And he said, I'm a young man from Egypt, a servant of an Amalekite. And my master left me behind because three days ago I felt sick. You see that wicked Amalekite? Abandoned the servant because your servant was sick to die. But God didn't like to die. We made, an, we made an invasion of the southern area of Cherotites Chir Chir in the territory which belongs to Judah and of the southern area of Caleb. And we burned Zikla with fire. They are the, the, the culprit. And David said to him, Can you take me to this troop? So he said, Swear to me by God that you will neither kill me nor deliver me into the hands of my master, and I will take you down to this troop. And when he had brought him down, there they were. See, see first of all, if you are trying to. If you are so what is lost? Where do you look to? If somebody came and born your place and then you don't know whether he went this way or he went this way or he went this way or he went that way. But because God spoke. When God speaks, he knows the direction you are going to pass. Where you are going to get to and how, how the things will be, will, be, will be recovered. He knows how you are going to recover your life. Your, 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 your life that seems useless now. He knows how to, how to help you recover it. See that because God has spoken, he took a step of faith. But we said the steps of righteous are ordered by the Lord. Look at it. So, so and, and when they had brought him down there, they were spread out over all the land, eating and drinking and dancing because of all the great spoil which they had taken from the land of the Philistines and from the land of Judah. Look at see, see the David, see David there. I want to see an example we can learn from David there. This is what they have already made it. They, they have made it. <laughs> they stole it from you. <laughs> hey! Then David attacked them from twilight until evening of the next day. Not a man of them escaped except 400 young men who rode, who rode on the camels and fled. Look at him. He said he attacked them from twilight. That means he attacked them from night. Night. Night time. He attacked from them from night time until the following day evening. That's almost 24 hours of fighting. Can you imagine you are drawing your sword 24, 10 hours, 1 hour, 2 hours, 10 hours, 15 hours, 17 hours. Non-stop. That's a divine energy. Somebody who has cried and nearly fainted before. But when God spoke, there was a divine enablement. There was a divine enablement. A divine energy. That, you see, on a day, like, I will have retired. So five or two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, you started fighting in the night. And you fought throughout the whole night. And then you fought throughout the whole night the following day. Not for, not for the morning. Not afternoon. You fought throughout the whole night, following the morning, for the afternoon, up, up till the evening. Non-stop. You see, hear me, church. I want us to gain something here as born again believers here. See, Satan would like to throw things at us. But we must have a resilient and tenacious spirit. You see, now, right now, our weapons are not kind of. They are mighty in God. Look at it. They are mighty in God. They are not kind of weapons now. We are in a war. But we, you see, the end is defined because you are already warning for us. But we have to stand your ground against the enemy, against symptoms, against lack, against, against th things you have lost or people you have lost, against pressure, your pressure on your mind. You stand your ground. Look at it. So David attacked them from twilight until the, until the evening of the, of the next day. Not a man of them escaped except 400 young men who rode on, on cameras and, and fled. So David recovered all. See, recover all. He says, he recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away. And David rescued his two wives. And nothing of theirs was lacking. Either small or great. Sons or daughters. Spoil. Say spoil. spoil. See, that means not just regaining what, what he lost. He regained better things. Better. God gave him much more money before than before. Spoil or anything which they had taken from them. Look at it. David recover all. Say recover all. Recover. See, change again. Say recover all. Recover. 
Say, I recover all. They really took all the flocks and heads. They, they, they are driven for, for, for those, 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 those other livestock and said, This is David's spoil. <laughs> they, now David came to the two younger men who had been so weary and that they could not follow. David, whom, David, whom they had, David, who, 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 who could not follow David, whom they, had, they, they also had made to stay at the brook Bishop. So they went out to meet David and to meet the, the people who were with him. And when David came near the people, he greeted them. Normally, most people will not greet them. I hear about that. You didn't follow me, ba? Carry your pig and go out. Shut your. Why am I not doing that? But David still greeted them. I like David's generosity. He was a, he was a kind-hearted man, very generous man. Look at him. And when you see, he, he greeted them. Then 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 the, all the wicked and worthless men of those who went with David answered and said, because they did not go with us, we will not give them any of the spoil that we have recovered, except for every man's wife and children that they may lead them away and depart. See, well, look at David's response. David said, my brethren, you shall not do so. Because that's, this is, that's a kind-hearted man. You not do so. No wonder God is on his case. And God is always helping him. He said, you shall not do so with, with what the Lord has given us. He's not, he's not saying the, he didn't say what I gave myself. He said, the Lord has given us. He's not taking credit for what he Even though he fought for almost, about, almost about 24 hours. He's not taking credit. He says, the Lord has given us. It is the Lord that has helped us to cover this thing. We can't do it by our power. Look at it. Who has, and, and he has given us, and who has preserved us and delivered into our hands the truth that came against us. God is delivering to your hand all the, all the demonic forces that, 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 that whatever that was stolen from you, God is going to restore them to you. For who will heed your, you in this, in this matter? But as his part is, is who goes down to the battle, so shall his, shall his part be who sits by, by the supplies. They shall, they shall share alike. So it was. He gave them 50 50. He shared, no, they, they, they didn't shortchange them. So it was. From that day forward, they made a statue and an ordinance for Israel to this day. Now David came to Ziggler. Look at this now. He sent some of the spoil to the elders of Judah, to his friends, saying, Here is present for you from the spoil of the enemies of the Lord. Not enemies of David. He said, Enemies of the Lord. Whoever is coming against you is coming against God. I hear that. When the enemy comes against you, it's not coming. It's coming against God. See, God takes it personal. Whatever, you, whatever you have lost, there's an answer from you. Hear me? He started, he started to steal from God. So you see, look, look, look. Don't look at people as your enemy. They are God's enemies, and Satan is not, see, Satan is using them. Satan used them against against David. Say the en- and he said, look at my enemies. God said, they are enemies of the Lord. When you have that kind of attitude, it will help you in any, anything in this life. Whatever you are facing, anybody come against you, abuse you, the same kind of thing about you, it's not about you, it's about him. That's why Jesus, I mean, Jesus, Jesus appeared to Paul. He said, he so, 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 why are you persecuting me? He was persecuting Christian. Jesus said, it's me you're persecuting. You know why? You are a member of the body of Christ. You, all of us, we are members of the body of Christ in particular. Jesus is our head. We are members, we are joined ears with him. Look at it. To those who are, who, who are in Bethel, to those who are in Ramot of the south, to those who are in Jita, those who are in Arwa, those who are in Shipmore, those who are in Estemoa, those who are in Reka, those who are in, in the cities of Jeremalites, those who are in the cities of the Kenites, those who are in Homer, those who are in, in they, were, they, they had plenty of, plenty of goods to, to, to share to, to people, those who are, who are in Korashan, those who are in Atak, those who are in Hebron, and to all the places where David himself and his men were accustomed to rule. Church, David became richer because he was attacked. Can you imagine yourself getting richer and better because he stole from you? Can you do you still do you can, do you imagine that your life can get better because of the losses you have incurred? Huh? You know, is it because your your your, your brain has to be your, 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 me and you need to have an imagination that whatever I have lost, God will make it up more for me and then he will give me much, much, much more in return. Look at the long list of this. They were distributing goods to people. They were sharing goods to people. You see, because the enemy attacked, Satan will regret forever attacking David. The devil will regret attacking you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatever seems to be an attack over your life now, your recovery will be so strong. You're going to, your better days are ahead of you. You're not, your better days are ahead of you. They are not, they're not buying their head. Yeah. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We give you praise tonight. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 
Father, we thank you for the recovery of every, every, every person, every good that have been lost. We ask for a, a, a quick recovery in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, people who have lost relationships, you are more than able to make it up for them in your own wisdom, in your own way. What, what other spouse or even children could not do for them, you are more than able to do 10 times that, more than 10 times that, more than 100 times of that. If I had multiple times of that, what human being can, what human being cannot do, you can surpass. And so we trust you to make it up for them. In the, the, the loneliness, the, or what has to do with, with losses, the sense of loss and des despondency. Father, we thank you because you are, you are, the, you are the Holy Spirit is the comforter. And so we ask for the comfort of the Holy Spirit in the name of yourself, Jonathan. Yeah. Father, for, for, for losses that have been incurred that, 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 that are still in existence, Father, we thank you for a, a quick recovery in the mighty name of yourself, Jonathan. Yeah. We thank you, we worship your majesty, Lord. We choose not to hold grudge against anybody for losses. We know that Satan is our enemy. And we stand against you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Nazareth. Amen.